cracking party, people. It's your girl, Nicole Bannister, a.k.a. Nikki Bands. Today is Tuesday, so you already know the vibes. Welcome back to Nikki Bands Live! What's good? What's good? What's good, everybody? It is good to see all of you beautiful humans up in the building today. Shout out to everybody who is tuning in live. Oh, hold up. I see Kiari Lady Boss in the building. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh, my goodness gracious. Kiari was my guest a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Matt Keston in the building. Shout out to Matt. Happy wedding. Congratulations. Oh, my goodness gracious. People are coming in hot today. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, it is so good to see all of you here today. I am honored to have you all here on my live show. I do this every single Tuesday where I am interviewing the most incredible artists, actors, entertainers, activists, and content creators from around the world. And today's guest, Party People, is no different. His name is Jamal Abdullah, but you know him as Yes Jamal. And yes, Jamal is an insanely talented young man from the beautiful, gorgeous, luxurious island of Zanzibar off the coast of Tanzania. So we're going to learn all about Zanzibar today, and we're going to learn about how this incredible content creator, yes, Jamal, does all of his crazy, crazy, crazy moves. If y'all haven't seen this man on TikTok and on Instagram, y'all got to go check it out because this man is an acrobat, a gymnast, like he is flipping off of walls, off of tires, off of sand, doing these crazy moves. It's not just him. He has created an entire community of young people across the island of Zanzibar. Zanzibar who are engaging and flipping and jumping and creating amazing content so that people can really get a taste of what the island life is like in Zanzibar. It is so incredible. I cannot wait to have him on. So as we wait for him to join, I just want to say shout out to all of y'all. It is honestly, it's so great to see you here. Whether you're watching this live on Instagram right now, every single Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central African time, which is 2 p.m. on the East Coast USA. It's just amazing to have you all here. Or if you're watching the rerun on YouTube, that's dope too. I love to see it. I love to have you all Here, like I said, I do this every single Tuesday. If you're not following me on Instagram already, at they call me bands, gotta go ahead and follow me right now, now, now. So this is gonna be the last time you're gonna see this beautiful background behind me for a little bit, y'all, because I am jet set team. Goodbye, Cape Town. It's it's winter in Cape Town. It's, It's about to be winter in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm saying goodbye to Cape Town, and I'm jet setting off to beautiful Los Angeles, California, where it will be summer. (laughs) And I have to say I'm very excited about it. So you can have different backgrounds. You might even get a guest appearance for Mama and Papa Bands. You know what I'm saying? You've never seen my parents here on Nikki Bands Live, but they're going to be in the house. So you might even get a little sneak peek. Tell me in the comments if you want to see Mama and Papa Bands show up on Nikki Bands Live. Because I'm just saying, I think that'd be pretty dope, so... Yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool to just, you know, see see the beautiful people who created all of this. All of this. All right, party people, I'm going to request for the one and only Yes Jamal to join me now. So we're just going to give it a moment so that this beautiful human can come on. And oh man, this is just going to be such a special episode. Yes, I see Kiari in the chat. I am coming to visit the good old US of A. It's going to be fantastic. I'll be there for the whole entire summer. Plus a little trip to Singapore. You know, I got a couple other trips planned too. You know how I do, you know how I do, you know how I do. (laughs) You know me, I'm always moving around, moving, shaking. I might even have to do another airport episode. Y'all know a couple weeks ago, I filmed Nikki Bands Live, live from LAX, Los Angeles International Airport. I might have to do something like that again. Just just wait and see, wait and see. But it's not going to be LAX, it's going to be a different airport. So, hey. You know, I can take my ring light anywhere. I just take my laptop, take my ring light, and I can do, I can go live from anywhere. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Well, party people, like I said, I'm so grateful to have you all here. As many of y'all know, I recently just finished filming a TV show, and I am so lit. I am so excited. I like cannot wait for this to come out. It airs live on Thursday. Imagine I'm going to be on a plane. 
<laughs> when it airs. I won't even be there to air, like for it to air live. But it is going to be happening live on Thursday. It's going to be on YouTube. Follow uh, GSEA competition on YouTube and you will be able to watch my TV show. My first TV show. Oh my goodness gracious. After months and months and months of going live on Instagram, now I'm going to be on your TV screens. I'm so excited. Ah! I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing. But that's enough of that. That is enough of that. TV premiere happening on Thursday. Now it is time to get to the man of the hour. Like I said, his name is, yes, Jamal. He's an acrobat. He is a diver. He is a gymnast. And I cannot wait to introduce you to him and to introduce him to the world. So without any further ado, I'm going to invite the one and only, yes, Jamal, to join me on this live. Jamal, welcome to the party. We can't wait to have you. It is time to go live. Let's get it. Hey. Hey! 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 Oh! Oh! Oh, hey, hey, hey. oh man! I'm too hyped for this. I'm too hyped for this. Hey, hey! What's up? We lit, baby. We lit. What's up? We tomorrow? lit. Let's go. <laughs> Let's We're not ready. Go. Hey! Damn! Oh my goodness! So good. How you doing, Jamal? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yo. Actually. It is so good to see you. I'm so grateful you're here on Nikki Bands Live. Welcome to the show. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. It has been a while uh, since we talk and uh, all of that stuff. But finally, finally I'm here. Finally we're here. It's happening. It's happening. After months and months of anticipation, and building now is our time to go live together. It's, it's truly incredible. And I always like to start the show, Jamal, by telling everyone how I know the guests who are on my show. So you and I met in Dubai a couple months ago at the Nas Summit, which was this incredible summit for content creators from all over the world. And that's where we connected your energy. I didn't even, I didn't even know who you were on Instagram. I didn't even know who you were on TikTok. I just saw your energy and I was like, that guy, he needs to be red. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know, I feel like um, I born in uh, South Africa and uh, raised on Zanzibar. You know, my, my vibe, like I'm, I'm so... Like, my heart is on South Africa. Actually, I was planning trip uh, this year in August. I will be there. So, yeah, I hope you're going to in South Africa. Oh, yeah. my gosh, yes. In August, I will be back in Cape Town. I hope you're coming to Cape yeah. Town. Oh, 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 yeah. It's Cape Town. Coco, it's Cape Town, no? Yeah, Cape Town. Yes. Cape Town. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'm so excited. That's going to be amazing. Also, I'm coming to Zanzibar in i think oh. in like october october okay 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 um <laughs> uh yeah that's great that's great because i'm planning to stay in south africa for uh three weeks um hopefully yeah and then uh in uh, october i think i'll be in zanzibar oh my gosh amazing so we get to kick it in cape town then we go to zanzibar i yeah. love it Yes! Shout out to Southern Africa in the building. <laughs> Shout out to the whole continent in the building. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so Jamal, I want to start off like there are so many different words that I could use to describe you. Uh, like I said, you are a gymnast, you're an acrobat, you're a diver, you're a content creator. You do so many incredible things. You're an athlete. Yeah. Like when, when you meet somebody new, when you go to a conference, like what, when you describe yourself, what do you tell people? What is your, your bio? What do you say to folks about yourself? Okay, so um, like you say, I do a lot of stuff. Uh, even dancer, I dance. Uh, that's why I love South Africa, you know. I'm a piano vibe. Uh, hey. So I describe myself as an um, artist. Because I even feel like I can be in a movie tomorrow. Who knows? So I'm an artist who I can do with uh, multiple talents. That's all. Mm. That's beautiful. Yeah. I, I love that. Yeah. And you are an yeah. artist. You create art with your body, with your videos, with everything that you do. And I want to talk about 
your athletic prowess. You are like in incredible shape. You can do flips, you can do dives, you can do stunts. How did you first get into the diving scene? Um, actually, um, diving is a part of culture in Zanzibar. Our grand grandfather used to diving. Um, yeah, so we grow up seeing them diving and we are old enough and we start to join them, we dive. Um, yeah, it's it just like that. It's culture in Zanzibar since long, long time. So everybody, a lot, not everybody, but there's a lot of people they are diving, especially if you are near to the place that have a beach, you know. So, yeah. Wow, wow. That's incredible, Jamal. I had no idea there was such a rich history of diving as part of the Zanzibari culture. And so for everybody tuning in right now that doesn't know what Zanzibar is or where it is, okay? Zanzibar okay. is an island off the coast of Tanzania, a gorgeous island. And how, when you describe Zanzibar to people, what do you, what do you say about Zanzibar? Uh, okay, Zanzibar is like, a, you know, the chilling island. Everything is a slow, slow, pole, pole. People, they're not in a hurry. Um, let's say if you go to a um, place like a, in a um, restaurant and you want to order uh, food or even a bottle of water, um, they're going to take their time. It can be like a 30 minutes just to have a, a bottle of water. Everything is like a poly poly, chilling. <laughs> it's good, but it, 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 like it's, uh, it, it gets like to the maximum now. It's like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That so, is so funny. I love pole yeah. pole. I've spent some pole time pole. in Kenya and some time in yeah. Tanzania. So pole pole is like slowly, slowly in Swahili. <laughs> yeah, slowly, slowly. <laughs> slowly, slowly. <laughs> Everything is slowly, slowly. We're not in a hurry, you know. Not in a hurry. I love that. And, I love that. And, and were there you are people, born? Go ahead. Yeah, uh, yeah. And the people in Zanzibar, they are so kind, charming, uh, very, very, very friendly. And... Uh, yeah, they are very, very, very friendly. So this is the best part of it, like a pole pole friendly, and uh, they want to make a friend to other um, other country. So they are so curious to see someone from out of Zanzibar. So uh, when you come here, you're gonna have a lot of friends. Oh my gosh, yeah. I love that. I think it's so beautiful how warm and welcoming the people of Zanzibar are. I've been once to Zanzibar before, but I didn't know you when I was oh, there. Really? So I, I, I didn't say hi. <laughs> which year? Which year? Which year? <laughs> this was Man. like, I was there like three, four years ago. It was a long time ago. Oh, that's a long time. I, 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 I wasn't even yes German yet. So yeah, it's okay. It's forgivable. Don't yeah. worry. We cool, we cool, yeah. <laughs> okay, it'll be better okay. next time we link up for sure. So, yeah, for sure. So I love that there's this like ancient tradition and heritage around diving. And so like if you're if you're a young person in Zanzibar, like and you just see a group of people diving, do you just like walk up and join, or do you have to like join a team? Like how does it work? Like if I'm if I'm just walking down the beach and I see you all flipping and diving, can I just join and be like, okay, now I want to come dive too? Ah <laughs> uh, yeah 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 sure. Actually actually we like that. Okay, I'm one of the people that uh, if I see you like uh, so interesting, like uh, I feel your joy. I come to uh, to take your hand. Now nah, come, come come to join. Come to join. You're not gonna you're not gonna get anything bad. It's just uh, it's deep enough. Join us and um, yeah. I, I think is uh, everyone can join um, to uh, to dive. It's, it's a free. There's no rules like you have to be local or uh, something like that. I think yeah. So you can join anytime. It's uh, uh, our, like the place is uh, for everyone. For everyone, that's, women to men, for everyone. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I love that community spirit. And it's interesting yeah. that you said it's open to everyone, to men, women, children. Because I've been watching your videos. I don't see any women jumping and diving. <laughs> I only see boys. <laughs> um, Where are the girls? Where are the girls? <laughs> I, um, this is, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know, but, but. There's, okay, sometimes there's a woman diving, but uh, they feel shy to be on camera. 
So mm. you see, so there are a few of them. Like uh, we was have uh, this lady. He's like, it's cool. It's okay to do video. And um, yeah, she was here. And uh, I have a couple of video of him in my page of her, sorry, on my page. So yeah, yeah. Some <laughs> girls, they feel shy. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to, after this live, we're going to send all the uh, girls your way. All the girls who want to dive and flip and be an acrobat, we're sending them to you right now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So how do you practice, like, how do you practice all of these dives? Because honestly, Jamal, when I watch your videos, I am blown away. You're doing like like three flips in a row, a sideways flip, a backwards flip. I don't even know all the proper terms of all of these flips, but like you are doing some incredible stuff with your body. How do you like, do you have to like practice for hours and hours? Like, how does that work? Um, okay, so the, the thing is, um, I'm talking about me now, not okay. about my friend, you know, this, this is me. Um, I was, uh, acrobatic like a gymnastic um i was doing gymnastic since i was uh 12 years i think now wow. i'm uh, 24 now i'm a uh, 24 so i started to do uh, gymnastic at 12 um and uh i was very good at it in um uh, trampoline and um ground so um uh, it's also is a culture in zanzibar there's a lot of gymnastic that are even uh people, they go to the Turkey and the other country to do the performance. Uh, Zanzibar has been known, known, known for the talent like this, um, like a gymnastic dancers and uh, uh, a lot of art, like uh, painting and uh, a lot of stuff. So I was lucky to be one of the, of the kids that like to do acrobatic and uh, gymnastic. So uh, yeah, I started when I was 12. And I was have a passion also to make a video, to be a content creator. Even I didn't know if I, it's called the content creator. It just, I was love to do, to make a video. So I start to make a, uh, I start to make a diving video. I mean, no, a gymnastic video when I was like uh, 16, uh, 16, something like that. And uh, after that, um, I was dancer also. So I moved to make dancer video, dancer's video. And then after that, um, yeah, I, uh, I started to make a diving video. Wow. So it's a wow. long journey, yeah. So for me, yes. uh, so I, yeah, I know, to, I know acrobatics and stay one. So it's more easy when you are jumping than you are land on the, on the ocean. You can do whatever you want in the air. Yes, yes. And I think that's mm. really incredible. You know, I was watching some of your um, some of your YouTube videos where, yeah, you had a tire set up in the stand and then people would run, yeah. jump off the tire and then flip into yeah. the ocean yeah. so that, you know, it like breaks your fall. You're not like hurting, yeah. you know, when you land. It's like a cushion. It's just water, you know. Yeah. I think that's really incredible. Yeah. yeah. So that is how we, 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 uh, we come up with the ideas, if you want to learn um, hardest trick, or like as yeah, so hardest trick that uh, it's easy to get injured. So like that, yeah, like we can't get, like um, um, we can't get hurt. So we come up with that idea, you can do the trick and then if you land like not good, uh, you're gonna be on the ocean, so it's okay. You're not mm. gonna break anything, so yeah. That are how <laughs> we learn stuff after watching on YouTube. I love that. I love that. It's always good to like keep people safe, especially when you're yeah. doing like the most incredible gymnastic acrobatic flips and dives. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Safety first. Safety first. <laughs> Safety first, always, <laughs> yeah. always. always. And I want to talk yeah. a little bit about your journey to content creation because it seems like you started off on YouTube, but then mm -hmm. since since you know TikTok has really taken off, you now yeah. have you know 1.2 million followers 
on TikTok, yeah. which is just absolutely insane and incredible. Talk to me yeah. about like the journey through content creation. Like, why did you start on YouTube? Why did you move to TikTok and how that transition has been for you? Um, okay, so I start on Instagram. Um, I was recording the uh, prank and um, parkour video and uh, gymnastic video. And I was just post on my Instagram. It was okay. about that. Yeah, it was about that time. It was over like uh, 3,000 people. Um, one of them, it was my neighbor. Like, uh, so yeah, there this day, he was like, uh, every time you see me, bro, you should start to put on YouTube. I was like, uh, yeah, no, nah, okay, I will do. And then I, um, the next day he come again, um, bro, you post new video on Instagram, but I don't see on YouTube. I was, ah, oh, I forgot, I forgot. Yeah, like, uh, for a long, long time. And then this day he come and say, bro, let me ask you one question. What you gonna lose if you take the same videos that you upload on Instagram to put on YouTube? Like you don't edit, you don't do anything, that, just you put on YouTube. I was, ah, yeah. So yeah. And uh, do you, YouTube like you are um, um, liberal, just for the, for the, like, um, for the, history or for the memory. Just put video on YouTube for the memory. And I was like, ah, good idea, okay. So I start to upload video on YouTube. And in my mind, like, okay, I put like this on YouTube, it's gonna be memory. When I be older, I'll gonna see or to show people that uh, I was doing this and this is the proof. Not for the, to have a subscribers, not like, because YouTube is so hard and uh, I was thinking I'm not that uh, level. I didn't reach that level. And he asked from that, from that, and I post this one video, 2018, and uh, by miracle, I don't know what happened on YouTube, in 2020, it started to go viral, two years after, two wow. years, YouTube, I don't know how algorithm work on YouTube, two years started to go viral, and uh, it went all over East Africa, Zanzibar, it was everywhere. And um, it have, uh, now it have uh, 2.6 million on YouTube viewers. Wow. And uh, that make me to the, it take me to the port, to the another stage. And, um, and things didn't work out after that. I was, ah, okay, now, yeah, it's not good. So I was doing my, my dancing as usual. I, uh, I was in crew and I work, uh, I work with a couple of artists um, in, uh, in Tanzania. So there this one day I was walking by at Frozani place and I see one of my friends jumping on the ocean. By that time, I already do research about TikTok and the stuff because I was posting videos that don't go viral. My friend posts normal video, it have one million or stuff like that. Was, what do I, make, I do wrong, you know? So uh, I go, I, I pass by and I was on video shoot of artists. It just was just random, like, okay, I see my friend, let me take a video because I didn't post uh, for so long on TikTok. And um, yeah, I record the video. It was no more videos that uh, anyone can make. At no more, the flip was not nice. Uh, the video was not quality. Like it was no more video. Yeah, and yeah. I put, yeah, I take it, I record, and I was on uh, TikTok uh, uh, camera. So I record and then I choose music. Like I, when I go, like I choose music and I upload and boom, I put my phone on my my uh, backpack and I was uh, go to do video. Next day I woke up, the video it have uh, 50K views and I was, ah, what, what's happening here? Like uh, what? I, didn't, I, I didn't do anything. I don't have a followers. But that time in TikTok, I was like uh, 600 people, 600 people and you have uh, 10,000, uh, 16,000. Views as okay, let me do another one. No, I didn't do another one since I do backflip and the stuff on the ocean. I go to YouTube, I cut the short I dive on the ocean, the good part, and I put on TikTok and you get 30, <laughs> 36. K. I say, okay, this is it. Here we go, let's go. Since that time, it was a um, miracle. It's just eight years, you know. No, eight months, sorry. It's just eight months since I start official to upload the first video from TikTok to now. Eight months. One million wow. and uh, something and uh, Instagram. Yeah. Eight months. Oh my gosh. 
That yeah. is an incredible story. And I think it's so powerful for you to share because I think a lot of content creators out there are wondering, you know, what's the best platform for me? How can my content go viral? How do I get the most yeah. views? You know, and you were able to pivot and say, okay, you, you know, Instagram's not really working. I had one video mm. on YouTube go viral, but other than that, not really working. And then this new platform mm. comes along, you just try it and then yeah. boom, that's the one. And yeah, yeah. actually I have another fun story. Yeah. So I was so addicted to TikTok that um, I make a lot of video and uh, I have this sister say, ah, Jamal, yeah, why you don't post on Instagram? And now uh, it's the same story. And I was like, ah, Instagram is not working. They don't promote. No, they are for real. Post it. I was, no, no. But uh, yeah, the days go and TikTok was a ban a lot of my videos. Um, I think if they was not burning my video, I should be like uh, 3 million now. Because um, there's a lot of videos that brought with uh, 12 million, 20 million. We just by just two days it have 20 million and they ban it just like that so they stop like as they they grow of the of the page i have like more than uh 20 video have been banned on tiktok so i say okay what? now tiktok I why don't like TikTok. Yeah. Why, why is tiktok banning your videos yeah okay they say my video is so dangerous which i don't understand even i post fun comedy diving they still ban it and uh, I don't know why till, till now. But wow. yeah. And that make me to go to Instagram Reels and I start to post <laughs> on Instagram and uh, it was on December to now I have uh, yeah, 4,000, 400 and something on, uh, on Instagram. It's just like that. So I think the best platform for me, if you ask me, I will choose uh, Instagram. Even it's hard though. If, uh, social media have a challenge, but uh, I prefer Instagram because they don't ban my content. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> they don't ban my content. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, shout out to Instagram. If anyone, if anyone who yeah. works on Instagram is watching right now, thank you for yeah. letting amazing, you. talented, young black yeah. creators like Yes Jamal and They Call Me Bands, thank you for letting us do our content and not banning us. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate that, that is actually so, so interesting to hear about how you are actually yeah. pivoting back to Instagram now, now that Instagram yeah. has features like reels and it's really pushing video content and short form content. Um, and it's, it's yeah. super interesting to hear that your videos are being banned on TikTok. And I think this is a challenge, like videos being banned. This is a challenge for a lot of black creators around the world, Jamal. You're not alone in this, uh, uh, that, that young black people around the world uh, who are creating content, super athletic content, content that's really fun and engaging, is being banned for whatever reason. I have a friend, Jamal, the, the very first person who ever went live with me on Instagram, on my show, on Nikki Band's Live, he's a, he's a pole dancer. So he's this incredible oh. dancer doing crazy dance moves on poles, on ceilings, all this stuff, and his content gets banned all the time all the time oh, it's banned on and instagram he, or tiktok by by both <laughs> oh wow by both by both you I know think, and it's like and it's I, it's super frustrating i feel like like yeah. I, I can't even imagine how you feel when you post an amazing video and then it gets banned like how, how does that so feel bad. and the, you know what's the most like a uh, frustrated time when i like you know tiktok it have this like you post video like you have to post and just put on yourself, I have to watch one video. Just give me one video. So keep posting, don't stop, and they put, say, one video. Because if you have one trending video, it can turn around, all your videos gonna go to viral, just like that. So when I already post a lot, I don't get the viral content, and I have one, and uh, four hours, I post video four hours, it have like a, 14 million views and uh, I come again like after six hours and boom, the video is banned. And the, the weird part, I can see those videos, but if other people that the, like they're not on my page, like uh, they're not, like I'm the one who log in, so I can see those videos, but um, others they, uh, they can't see. 
I didn't know by that time, but now I know. So I have wow. to tell my friends, oh, yeah, check the video. It's still up or you have to take it down. Yeah, wow. TikTok is nice, but uh, yeah. Okay, so this is, this is good to know. So if you're watching this live right now, or you're watching this on YouTube and you don't follow Jamal yet on Instagram, now is the time, okay? At yes, Jamal, Y E S S J A M A L. You gotta follow the boy I'm... right now. Follow him on Instagram, okay? And 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 I'll shout out myself as well. You gotta follow yeah, me yeah, at yeah. Nikki Bams. Me Bams. <laughs> so if you're looking at the top of your screen right now, where it says Nikki Bams Live, you'll see a little white arrow at the top. Click on that. Follow yeah, and Jamal. Follow, follow me. Yes. 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 Support the movement. Support the movement. Exactly. And it is a movement. And I, and I want to talk yeah. about that. And, and you know, you say it's a movement. And honestly, one of the things that I love about your videos is obviously, you know, you have these incredible uh, gymnastics, these incredible acrobatic feats that you do, but you normally couple your, you know, diving into the ocean with a message. So you use like yeah. these big boards and you'll jump into the ocean with some sort of a message. And one of your most popular videos that a lot of people saw and a lot of people reposted, people like Pete Diddy, people like Madonna, people like Don Jazzy, a lot of people were reposting the video that you shared, uh, you know, about, you know, about stopping war and stopping racism around the world. Where did you get the idea to start making signs and jumping into the water with signs? Okay, so, you know, first, I was uh, doing vibe, um, diving video, and then I start to show love to other country. So I start to create this uh, flag video. Let's say South Africa, Jamaica, and all of the um, around the world. I don't choose. I just put uh, the poll and people say vote. Whatever country we're in, I make video with their flag. It was simple like that. So people start to notice, like I do kind of stuff. So when um. This thing, this thing has been going on between Russia and Ukraine. They start to, to, um, to DM me. Yeah, bro, there is this, something is, uh, want to happen in um, Russia and Ukraine, stuff like that, you know. And uh, I was, um, okay, okay, I have to make a video about this. Like people, they pump me a lot and they was, ah, oh, yes, I'm going to make video of this and then I'm going to stop everything. But it was so serious. And it was so deep. So because the moment that people start to um, to tell me to do the video, to make the video, it was not even done yet. Like the why was not done yet. They just on the talking, you know. So people was following the other stuff, like they know the issue. I didn't get those message, and I was uh, okay. I have to do video about two flags. Actually, this is a best interesting story. People have to know this. This is like a best, best interest story. So, yeah, this is the best interest story. Um, I was going to do that video to, um, to paint those flags, Russian and Ukraine. And then my idea, it was the video start. Um, we, one, one person have a Ukraine flag on the face and a board with a Ukraine flag. And then... Um, is a goal. And, and the other guy is also have a Russian and um, in the face painting and the board. So Russian and um, Ukraine, right? And they come together, they hug each other and uh, they're smiling, they hug each other and then they go to dive, okay? It's a uh, okay. going jump, yeah. But, but after one week, I was okay. Why? I think this thing is so serious. Like, okay, let me see how other people do about this stuff. And um, I look a lot of page, a lot of stuff, and I was uh, okay. And the people start to come to say, okay, also, because I was, when it start, a lot of people was on Ukraine side. But also, those videos start to come, like Ukraine, stop, um, black people on the train, stuff like that. So people right. uh, move to Russia side. So Russia side was like, okay, even us, a lot of people in that was okay. Uh, we are on uh, Russia side, let them get beaten, uh, stuff like that. And I was okay, this is becoming wow. so confusing. I'm not gonna make a video. 
after that the three week wow after start i've been going back and forth so i have a friend i'm a friend of ali jape you know ali jape yes yes i like ali <laughs> yeah well, shout out we ali love jape, ali you <laughs> ali <laughs> yo so ali jape is kind of guy who like to do research and this research if he he want to make a video he make research like a for two months one month i don't know five months so he was doing research he going to kabila video and they read the comment all the comments that people say about the video he make about uh, um russia and stuff like about the war and uh, ali always he say you know people want something and the people they know what they want so don't make video for your own interest just listen to them and they, and then make video on on behalf on their comment or their feedback so wow ali jack ali jape take like go to a lot of page that uh, post like uh, to stop war he was on um, comment for one week and he come up with idea like okay you know what there are something missing you know if you post video russia and ukraine hug each other um arab people will say okay you don't see palestina you don't see like israel there's a i've been going for years why now you supporting so these people will come to you okay so what we have to do and even this issue it make another issue about racism so we have to say stop war and you also we are, it's not just war we have to also to tell them um to stop racism and yes. like this even um arab people come to us like a middle east people the, it was a top war it's for all of people because we don't have to mention country in this message so we don't mention right. me, me, um yeah so that why even the message is start with uh, this is a message for the world so this is behalf like this is the message to all the world you can take it wow. or you can just listen it yeah but but we were going to make the video but we pay to create those boards and uh, i was i like i didn't have like a 20 dollar more to make those boards and we was like oh okay we give up like we don't gonna make this video and jabi say you know what bro i already make uh, money today i already do work so take this put on your money create those boards and we're gonna do it and this is viral content this gonna be to a lot of people there was um yeah bro it's not but yeah let's do it and i put my money all of my money and just make the the 20 dollars that i didn't have and they will create the board and um yeah before that the rest wow. of the story one day the video has more than um uh 4 million in just a couple of hours 4 million in all platform wow. and in the end i think this video have more than um 200 million views in across all people that have been share me tiktok and all of the people madonna and all of our pdd and all over the internet more than 200 million like views so so it was very successful and uh, it was very very a lot of stuff in behind of the video it was wow. not me, it was ali jab idea yeah Oh my gosh. So, okay, well first off, shout out to Ali Jappe. We love Ali ja- Ali Jappe, another amazing content yeah. creator out of Zanzibar. Okay, shout out to Ali. Also met him yeah. in Dubai, which is incredible. But I That's like cool. Jamal, I'm so glad that you just shared all that went into making that video because like there yeah. was so much thought behind it, so much research, so much collaboration. And I think yeah. that a lot of people when they see a viral video, they don't really understand how much work actually goes into that video. So for you to sit yeah. here and tell us that you were researching for hours and hours and for days, you know, trying to figure out what what to share, what to comment about the war, recognizing that it wasn't just about Russia and Ukraine, but about uh, yeah. you know, the the apartheid happening in Palestine. the the tragedy yeah. happening in Ethiopia the the also the war happening in Yemen right you were so yeah. you know sensitive and aware that it wasn't just about Russia and Ukraine and then to also take it another level and acknowledge yeah. that there was racism happening when black people like us yeah. were trying to leave Ukraine yeah. right like yeah. there's so many layers and levels to this and this like when people want to bash 
like social media and content creation and say that like, oh, social media is just a distraction. When people want to say that, I'm like, no, actually look at the way that you all the way on an island off the coast of Tanzania are connected to the whole rest of the world because of social media. This is all incredible. The world, the world. All the rest of the world. Like if you don't see the video, I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. You have to go to, to watch it because I think this video will live forever. They're not gonna be okay. This video will be there forever. I just, we just put a piece of, of, uh, of creativity and a piece of uh, um, awareness. It, 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 it is so big that I think it will be there forever. Forever, mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, congratulations on making such an impactful video. You know, it's, it's even here, you know, when I, when I was telling people, oh, I have, yes, Jamal coming on. I'm so excited that Jamal from Zanzibar is coming on. You know, they'd be like, who? I'd be like, the guy who made the video jumping, <laughs> off, jumping off the wall with the sign, stop war, diving into the ocean. And they're like, oh, yeah, I saw that video. Like, everyone saw <laughs> that video. <laughs> yeah. And like a... That, that that is the best thing like i feel I, you know i can be hungry but when i create content like i put all everything that i i have my um like uh, i put everything my mind focus everything i put on video then when i post it and i'm so happy even two people see it because even i start it was not about the views and the stuff it was about the the guy who have talent, he like to make video and he open YouTube to make library. So when he grow up to show maybe our, my grand, uh, my grandson, like, uh, yeah, something like that. It's not about uh, what the viewing or stuff like that. It just happening by miracle. So wow. mm, yeah, and uh, I will keep, keep doing to, uh, to, you know, because make my, my, uh, I'm content creator now, I know that, and I just focus to bring happiness to people and uh, to bring joy, awareness, and uh, yeah, awareness and to, to make people happy. That, that is my goal, that's all, that's all. Wow, wow. Well, I have to say, Asante Sana, Jamal. <laughs> Asante Pia Nari, Asante Sana, Asante Sana. <laughs> I mean, Thank you know, you, you, for you having me. You, you truly are, you bring joy, you bring happiness, you bring creativity, and it's such a tremendous way to connect the whole entire world. You know, you're putting the island of Zanzibar on the map on social media in a way that folks, you know, never knew. There's people watching here right now who have never heard of Zanzibar before. They never, they've never even heard of Tanzania before. And now you're, you know, connecting with these messages of hope and positivity and athleticism. And it's so much fun to watch. It's so creative. We love watching you. We love supporting you. And so, you know, Thank as you. I, we have, about, we have like 15 minutes left here on the live. So I guess one of the questions you oh. know, to sort of to, to, to close out, I want to ask like, you know, what, like, for those of us watching right now, what can we do to continue supporting you and your work? Like, what, what can we do as your friends, as your fans, as your followers, to make sure that you can keep creating all of these tremendous videos? Um, actually, that is a deep question. Um, yeah, okay, so, wow. Um, okay. Uh, you can support me by many, many, many ways. Um, you can just watch my video. You can, uh, you can be happy because uh, I, will not, I will not disappoint anyone. I will not disappoint anyone. So by watching me is a big support that uh, I, can't, I can't ask for, for anything. But, but if you willing or happy, just you feel. I don't ask for, for, for anything from, from, um, from anyone. It just... I, uh, we opened GoFound, and um, our GoFound, it's uh, because of my friend that I used to judge. Um, I diving with them. Um, me and uh, all of my friends, we don't have a work. Me, now, my content creation, I, uh, I, I able to work with a lot of um, artists in, uh, in Africa and uh, America. So, but still, I want to help these people, my friend, and uh, others 
to take them to school or some of them they want to learn how like to speak uh, some language so they can be um uh tour guides and uh to have a private car stuff like that everyone have their own dream um it just this is a culture is always there we meet at Frozani by evening we diving together and after that we separate it's just like that sometimes there are a lot of people few me and uh other we meet again it's like a family so i help them like okay my mom sick stuff like that i help them if i have i help if i don't have i tell them so we have a this go found if anyone feeling to to help um is a uh, is okay if you want to help but if for me for me if watching my video is a big support for me so yeah yeah that's all that's that's beautiful jamal and i think you know like i said before if you're not already following jamal on instagram at yes jamal y e s s j a m a l and i think the link to your gofundme page where you're fundraising to support your friends that's on your your bio on instagram yeah 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 okay amazing yeah. amazing so people can go uh support and 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 add some money there to make sure that you and all of your friends can continue to yeah. have work and continue to make these videos can be tour yeah. guides So for for those of us like me who might be visiting Zanzibar soon what what part of Zanzibar what is the area where y'all are always diving so I can come find you where is that Okay so um the place called um Forozani Forozani uh marketing um this place um this place is a place that uh, in evening they start to sell uh, seafood so you can have a seafood there you know seafood vibing calamari octopus and all of that and uh, when you all buy that and you can you came like you come to see us uh, you can have a urojo we have a zanzibar mix is our zanzibar food so it's a is a best food you have to try when you come to zanzibar um the place wow. called uh, forozani zanzibar okay forozani for yeah forozani Okay, that's amazing. I know it's like it's like 8 p.m. for me. It's like 9 p.m. for you. It's dinner time. Yeah. So you talking about calamari and fresh seafood? Yep, yep, yep. I'm getting hungry, Jamal. I'm getting hungry. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry, don't worry. As long as gonna come to Zanzibar, um, I will bring all to the places. But for now, I don't know. You can uh, drink water just like me. So no worry, no worry. <laughs> Exactly. I'll just drink water for now. I'll drink water for now. Oh my goodness. Well, I want to open it up to the fans here on Instagram live. We've had, you know, 200 people who have tuned in throughout the live. If you have a question for Jamal, I want to answer your question. Go to the bottom of your screen, click on the little thought bubble with the question mark in it. Click on that and type your question. If you put it in the comments, I might not be able to see it. Too many people are coming. So don't comment. Put it on the little bubble on the right hand side of your screen with the question mark click on that and type your questions i'll ask them to jamal jamal can i ask you some questions from from the fans from the people yes 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 let's go let's go I'm a, i want to to know what uh, they want to know about me let's go let's go yes we all want to know what questions you have for jamal okay let me open this up and see what questions um okay someone <laughs> someone is saying Uh I'm in Zanzibar right now. I want to meet you. Okay. <laughs> um okay, okay, okay. Um it's cool, it's cool. Um okay. First of all, are you boy or girl? This You know what? So... I can't tell. I can't tell. Uh it it says Dita's life. I don't know. So maybe maybe uh, they just need to they maybe... just need to go to Foro Dani and then maybe they'll uh. find you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe tomorrow at evening I'll be at Frozen for all people want to see me I'm going to be there at the evening Frozen to the sun go <laughs> down yeah I love that I love that okay so in that's night, for you this see you in night I'm afraid <laughs> <laughs> I love that I love that for Odani tomorrow night it's going down <laughs> yep 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 um okay what yeah. else what else um So someone's asking Abu Bakar Al Saadi is asking Jamal did you ever think that you would have so many followers from all over the world 
Wow, okay. I didn't think I didn't think that I even you know, you know, um 11 months before now uh before now I was have a uh, zero followers in all platform. TikTok, wow. Instagram and all platform. Wow. Maybe YouTube, YouTube I was already be like uh, for something uh, but I was kind of quitting so yeah, it was uh yeah, but now yeah and um i don't know how i feel about it it's great it's good but still i feel normal and um i just focusing to to bring joy to people that's that's mm. all it's not about following i think followers and stuff i just keep doing what i was like to do yeah, yeah. create creating video and uh, yeah so that's humble all. jamal that's why we love you you're humble and you make amazing ah, videos you. and you're so nice thank and you have a beautiful smile you. we do, we just love you jamal we love you we love this you this the first time this is the first time to hear that uh, i have a best smile oh my god oh my god ah, so nice so nice so thank beautiful you. oh my gosh you're so welcome <laughs> so love much you. love in the air so much yes! love in the air so yes. much love so much love I don't know how to say how, how do you how do you say I love you in Swahili? Ah, uh, nakupenda sana. Nakupenda sana. <laughs> nakupenda pia. Asante. It's so good. See? I'm learning. You're going to you're going to help teach me Swahili. I'm going to keep learning. <laughs> yeah, Swahili is so easy. You know, I I have a lot uh, a lot of uh, South African uh, friend and they know Swahili very quick. I don't know why. Maybe there are a lot of Tanzania and South Africa. I don't know. So weird. I say one word and they have it. Like I don't have to teach them. I don't know. It's so, it's so easy to them. Sometimes I feel I'm speaking with, with my friend, like uh, my local friend. Exactly, exactly. Well, you're just such a good teacher, you know? You teach people how to uh, dive. You teach people Swahili. What can't you do, Jamal? You just do it all. <laughs> I don't know I don't know but I'm so grateful for what I can do to people to help people and bring joy to a lot of uh, of um of people you know there's uh, there's this nice moment or yeah nice moment that make me joy you know sometimes I I I like to create content the process that it took me to create those content I'm happy but I'm more happy when I get kind of this feedback is say Jamal thank you you saved my life i was about to do suicide uh because of this stuff was this stuff um i got this um like a uh, five time kind of this message to a different person in the different country so this i see, there are this kind of people they reach me and there's a lot of people that they don't reach me but i know um my video makes them happy in or they touch them in in uh I don't indifferent indifferent so this kind of feedback it make me want to cry sometimes yeah like i you it save someone life in the world for me it's too hard this is a, mm. this is too big yeah mm. this is too big for me yeah which uh, wow. it that is the best best thing for me i get when i create content this is the best feeling ever It's so powerful Jamal that a video that you post can bring someone so much joy, so much happiness and that it actually saves them. It saves their heart, it saves their mind, it saves their body and soul. And I think that's just it's it's incredible and and you're right. It's not about the followers, but it's about the way that people engage with the content and and social yeah. media has the power to do that. And so we 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 hope that you never stop because we are we are all loving this this really uplifting content. Yeah, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. Never. <laughs> never I'm going to be here forever. Like what kind yes. forever. Yes, yes, you will. You will. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. Yes. So we have um okay we have some other questions for you. We have one more. Oh, okay, we have one question here coming in hot. 
Um, from someone who's saying, I'm a film director, would you want to shoot a documentary about your life and your diving? Um, okay. I would like to put this question in this way because I think now the way I think about this is good. I think my life since I bring a lot of joy to people, a lot, a lot of happiness, and uh, I able to engage with a lot of people that people, I think people will be interested to know my story. So this I will say yes. But uh, I usually don't. Um, I usually don't do this. Or, but uh, if he want to do to to uh, to make it okay, we can do. We can do because <laughs> I think it will help more people or to know me better. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. And I think what what really resonates with me, Jamal, is that you were saying how the diving that you do it's it's. It's, it's part of your heritage. It's part of the yeah. culture in Zanzibar. And I think that is an untold story that not a lot of people mm -hmm. know. You know, if it weren't yeah. for your videos on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube, nobody around the world, you know, would know about yeah. this, this tremendous and beautiful diving culture that you have, right? Because, because yeah. how is somebody in Bolivia going to know what's happening in Tanzania? How is somebody... Mm in you know nigeria even gonna know what's happening in tanzania right the world is so big but you've been able to really share this culture you know all over the world and so i think that could be a really interesting opportunity for you know for a for a documentary filmmaker or for anyone to really learn more not just about your story and this beautiful yeah. community of young people who dive and do acrobatics with you but also to really yeah. help the rest of the world understand this beautiful zanzibari culture that you have yeah, that's true. Actually, actually, you know, uh, when I start to post the one video that about diving, until now, I never see any clip of page or I, like a Pacific page that they do what I do. I was the mm. first one on the internet or in the world to make this kind of content for people who want to duplicate content stuff like that. I see a lot of people they have fun also in Jamaica, um, um, UAE, uh, to Oman, and uh, a lot of uh, countries. Um, and we have been doing this crazy move. Um, I would like to say to them, this has been um, heritage to us. We don't do for views or we don't do for internet. This, mm -hmm. it was before the Instagram, Facebook, and other stuff. This was, we're talking about yeah, one, uh, like a, a 90, uh, 90 or stuff like that. It was here wow. in Zanzibar. But the people, they didn't discover it. Maybe there's TikTok and other social media. Um, now they see it. But there's a lot of people that do extreme dive. We know it's dangerous, but it doesn't make difference between us and the uh, Red Bull stuff that are being the extreme diver because we are capable of doing that stuff. The people who have been doing this, they have more than 20 years uh, of, um, of um, experience, uh, 15 years of experience. It, me, I have more than uh, uh, 16 or 17 of diving um, life. So we do what we can do and we don't do to show off or to do like a, now we want the views or stuff like that. We already do that kind of stuff you are gonna see on my video more than one million times, but they, it, they, it, it was there is not internet before that. So everything we do, it was our our profession. Like it's not. I don't want to call it professional because we just we just do since we are kids and now we can do a lot more. So I think it's talent, and um, we don't do for views. It just we are trying to be us. We don't yeah. do for the camera, it's just the way we do. Even if there's no camera recording any stuff, when you come to Zanza, people will do the same things that you're going to see on, on my page. So, yeah. Wow. And wow. That's Jamal, that is so powerful. And I'm so grateful that you shared that with us because it is your culture. You are skilled, yeah. professional athletes who have learned this 
from your fathers and your father's fathers. It's generations of diving and yeah. athletic ability, you know, that you've been able to, you know, make into fun reels and fun videos on TikTok. But like you said, even when all the yeah. cameras are gone, you're still diving. And yeah. I think that is just so, yeah. so powerful. And we're so grateful that you shared this beautiful culture um, with the world so that we can all be a part of it and we can all experience it as well. So, you know, from me, from the whole world, from everybody tuning in here on Nikki Vans Live, we just have to say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Asante Sana. Thank you. Asante Sana, Asante Sana. Thank you. Um, I love you all oh, guys. I've been uh, the guy you have been here. You gonna save this um, after live? You gonna yeah, save this? I'll or save it. Gonna... I'll upload it. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. So I love all of you, of you guys. You have been here live with us, and the guy who gonna come after this to see this video. We love you so much, and um, all people deserve love. Every people, everybody deserve love, and love is free. Everybody deserves to be happiness, and the world is a better place with the love. So I appreciate for all you guys have been here and I love you so much, Nikki Baird, for having me here. I love you so much. I love yes. you. Yes. So I love you right back, Jamal. Thank you so much for coming on Nikki Baird's Live. Thank you to everybody who's tuned in. Make sure you go follow Jamal on Instagram at yes Jamal, Y-E-S-S. -S J-A-M-A-L. Follow me on Instagram at they call me bands, B-A-N-Z. And we'll see you next time on Nikki Bands Live. Jamal, I'll see you in August in Cape Town. I'll see you in October see in Zanzibar, my brother. Zanzibar. Ah, yes. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jamal. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see y'all next time. See you too. See you. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> bye, 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 bye.